took to the slaughterhouse. Good morning, maggots, and welcome to the slaughterhouse. This week, we are taking a look at Argentina's version of Sergeant Slaughter, Plastorama Sargento Slaughter. Sargento Slaughter represents our second look at a foreign release Sergeant Slaughter figure, third if you count Fun School India's Super Cop. And whilst he does have some familiar Sergeant Slaughter themes, I believe he is unique enough to stand out when displayed with other Slaughter action figures. After Estrella, the toy company that produced the Slaughter's Marauders figures for Hasbro distribution uh, were done with the moulds. I believe that they were then passed on to Plastorama. The quality of plastic notwithstanding, the overall quality in the produced figure leads me to believe that Fun School acquired the tooling well into its lifespan, which accounts for the less refined and detailed examples produced. For the most part, Sargento Slaughter figures are of decent enough quality that I don't feel overly compelled to be cautious with them. In fact, they rival the Marauders figures in overall durability. As is common with most size and slaughter figures, this version came with a swagger stick, this time in a lighter shade of brown. And like all swagger stick accessories, this one is easily lost. Sargento Slaughter has an olive green campaign cover with the chevron picked out in gold and is wearing a black tank top, plain olive green pants with black boots and light green knee pads. The dark green whistle suffers from overspray, but that is common with this figure. With the black and green colour palette, you could easily be mistaken into thinking this is a straight up repaint of the Triple T Driver Sergeant Slaughter. I'm sure that was the inspiration for Sargento Slaughter, but this figure isn't a straight up repaint of Triple T Sarge at all. It is actually the Mail Away Sergeant Slaughter, and by extension, Slaughter's Marauders Sarge. They even shared the unfortunate oversight of not having the wristbands painted. Another similarity is the decision to paint the top of the wrestling boots as if they were knee pads. I don't mind the shade of green used here, but I would have preferred it on the wristbands. Paint over spray aside, I think this is an exceptionally well done figure of decent quality. There are common factory errors though, the most common of which is excess plastic and slight deformities of the forearms. But this just adds a little character and uniqueness to the figure. When compared to the three other figures that utilise this tooling, you can see that the skin tone has a pinkish hue to it, like he's been out in the sun too long without using sunblock. I think I like it better than Marauder's Sarge though. Unlike the Triple T Sarge and Mail Away Sarge, Sargento Sorter was available on card. The cardboard quality is extremely poor and the bubbles are known to crack and split, meaning the swagger stick can be missing even on a carded example. The artwork is pretty dynamic though, with the explosion of red and orange behind Sargento Slaughter, who looks like he's at a nightclub rave with that whistle in his mouth and that awkward stance, and his swagger stick in hand. There is great detail on the belt buckle though, and clearly the artist was inspired by the Triple T Sarge, considering the camo pattern on the artwork. While it's not the worst card art I've seen on a foreign release figure, it isn't exactly Hasbro standard quality. In fact, Sarge himself has a theory about the Plasterama card art. There's a story behind it? Yeah. See, I, uh, Hasbro saw it and said, it looks like my arm is my hand. So they said, ship them off to uh, Argentina. Tell them they can do what they want with them and put their own. They didn't have any writing on it, so they sold them to them. Thank you to Michael Ford of Everything G.I. Joe for the use of that clip. Check them out on Facebook. The bio card is in Spanish, and I wasn't looking forward to trying to translate all this text, but then I remembered the internet was a thing, and by the magic of technology, we have our English translation. I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate, but one of the funniest lines is his catchphrase. Come on, guys. Way to motivate the team, Sarge. But the most interesting inclusion to his bio is the use of a file name. Meet Alan Heavy, the espionage commander. The American releases never used a file name. It was always classified. And the real Sergeant Slaughter is named Robert Remus. But 
This isn't Sergeant Slaughter, it's Sargento Slaughter, so maybe it's a completely different person. And for anyone who cares, here is the translation for the other characters on the back. Now, Alan Heavy over here is known to have a few interesting figures past the inspection stage. Sometimes his hat is off, sometimes his shirt, and sometimes it's his moustache. Sergeant Sorter was also interestingly available as a two-pack with a Street Fighter figure. I believe the Brigada Riscate, am, am I saying that right? Was created to sell overstocks of figures, left over from Plasterama, and Sarge wasn't even on the card at all. The weapon assortment seems random, and Sarge is sitting uncomfortably within that bubble. A closer look reveals the gold detail is missing from the campaign cover, and the arm shows some of that slight plastic deformity. My final example is this interesting piece. Cops, central organization of police specialists, fighting crime in a future time. Sarge has seemingly aligned himself with the team of cops and is designated as the ultimate warrior, or as Sarge would call him, the ultimate pure. One of Sergeant Soldier's biggest rivals in the WWF. Held in the box by only a twist tie, this version looks eager to bust out of the cardboard box. And inside is apparently the G.I. Joe ammo dump. So I can only assume this was further overstocks that needed to be cleared. There was one last release of this figure, which saw Sarge and various Joes packaged with a plastic trench. Unfortunately, I am yet to add this version to my collection. Anyway, that's all from me. Next time we are headed to Brazil. We will look at the final foreign release Sergeant Slaughter, otherwise known as Sergeant Strongarm. Have a great evening. You're dismissed. Attention maggots, welcome to the Slaughterhouse. I'm Sergeant Slaughter. Make sure you tune in to be related to all the things that we do with Sergeant Slaughter. WWE, G.I. Joe, Action Force. Have I made myself clear? Good. They keep watching, keep listening, tune in, and that's in order. Yo, Joe, full force. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. Let's begin.